this is the Baofeng UV 5RM Plus, and they sent this to me to have a look at. Now, for those who watch my channel, you will notice that straight out of the box, this thing looks awfully like the UV, what was it, 5G Plus, I think that I reviewed not that long ago on the channel, which was a GMRS only version. I suspect that this is the exact same radio. The radio here has a USB-C uh, port on the back of the battery, which we're seeing more and more uh, with radios these days. Now there is the two pin K connector, which is on the side as well. Same sort of whippy antenna as well. Uh, one thing I did notice is that the manual actually has amateur radio UV5 RM plus written on the front. Um, the manuals seem to be getting a lot better, by the way. They are in easy to understand English now. So whoever's doing the manuals now is uh, doing a good job, but let's throw that aside for one minute. All the other stuff, you get the USB charge cable and belt clip and everything else. You can't program this directly. You still need a Baofeng programming cable. And I believe that this is compatible with Chirp or it is recently been compatible with Chirp. Just holding the body of the radio is actually pretty lightweight, which is surprising. Um, here is the FCC ID, which is on the back of the radio for those that are interested. There's also a, I guess that's a batch number maybe, 6818, don't know what that means. And it has this nice blue screen. I, I actually liked this screen on the UV 5G. This is the all important thing though that we do need to do. Now apparently if this thing's hackable, can I receive frequencies outside? No, I can't, okay? So it's got the chip in it, but out of the box I can't receive anything below 136 or 174. Maybe you guys in the comments might be able to comment on how I can do that. Let's go and put in a frequency, 14650. Whoops, I didn't put on the back battery in properly. The screen is nice and clear to read. If I recall correctly, I think it was okay in the outdoor light. So the menu is very much similar to a talk pod-ish kind of menu that we've seen before. You've got all of the basic functions. There's nothing really different here. It's all sort of the same. It's interesting that they use this red uh, to on the menus. I thought that it would look a lot nicer if it was uh, white. Roger beep, looks like we've got a beep and you've got the fake MDC 1200 board tone. You can select a power on password, looks like this, oh, okay, so this is one of the radios that's got the stopwatch in it too. And this version that I have at the moment is version 0.14. Hardware version one. Looks like it has a nice flashy, flashy light, of course, in the top, which is a bright LED. Let me just turn off the light here. It's, eh, it's reasonable. I know that a lot of people are like, why do they put the lights on these radios all the time? Well, I told a story a little while ago of how I actually used my light in my handheld to find my way home when, I, when my battery and my phone went flat and I couldn't see at night, so. It does come in handy sometimes. So I'm going to be transmitting on 146500 into my tiny SA here. So let's set this up correctly for measuring our harmonic on 146500. I'm starting the sweep here at 100 megahertz. So here's our fundamental number one here on 1465. There's our second harmonic sitting at 293 megahertz. There's our third harmonic and our fourth harmonic which are all above our minus 16 dBm line that is required there. The second harmonic is sitting at a level of about plus 10 dBm. The third harmonic is sitting at about minus seven dBm. And our fourth harmonic is sitting at around, or just lower than that, probably about minus 12 dBm. So there's our sweep on 440 megahertz fundamental. So that's what we look like harmonic wise. This is up to two gigs. So from two, from 400 to two gigs. All right, let's test our audio and see what it sounds like. VK7HH testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio level is normal. 
Vic A7HH testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. K7HH okay, testing. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you want to see the GMRS version of this, then I've done a video review on that, which is pretty much basically the exact same radio.